Hi, today I want to show you how to install an inst extension in Lucy. There are different ways to do that. The first way is in the Lucy administrator. You go to the server administrator, but you can also choose the web administrators that's based on the extension you install. There are extensions that are for the whole server that you install in the server administrator, or extensions that are only for a single web context that you install on the web uh, admin. So when you go to the server admin, you go to extensions applications. In there, you will find um, all the extensions that are installed and the extensions that are not installed. If an extension, if there is a newer version of available for an extension, you see it here. Update me. So I go click on that extension and I go to the detail view so I see okay there's a new version for my SQL I can update to that version and I can also downgrade to other versions so you can jump to any version you like that's very important for, especially for uh, JDBC drivers because maybe your database is an older one and you use need an older driver so you can choose the version you like so in that case I update the newest version then it will download that extension and install it. That's done. You'll see now it's no longer update me. And we have that version now installed. So that's fine. And But maybe you are in behind the proxy or you have no access to the internet at all. So... That doesn't work for you because that, of course, needs access to the internet. What you can do is define your own provider for extensions, so your own extension provider. And at the moment, you see the provider defined is extensionlucy.org. And you can define here by defining an, a new URL to a REST service, your own extension provider that provides your extension or or is just a proxy to to um, the original extension provider whatever you like I will make a separate video about how to do that in details so for the moment just you define your own extension provider here and you get the extension from there that's Fine, but maybe you, you don't have the admin installed. You know, you can deinstall the administrator and you don't want to install extension at, with, with a web front end. You want to install it in a, on the file system. You can do that as well. For that, you go to download lucy.org. There you have extensions. You have three type of the extension the releases beta releases and snapshot go to the releases and i see here we go again with mysql i see here i have all version available for mysql i download the the oldest version then i go to the file system that should be in the downloads folder. Okay, you see here I have uh, the, the MySQL extension downloaded. That is a file with the Lex extension. Lex stands for Lucy extension. I take that one. I go to my installation. And in my Lucy installation, I have the folder Lucy server. In there, you have a deploy folder. So I copy that in that folder. Then I have to wait up to a minute until Lucy picks that up. So it, every minute it checks if there are anything to deploy and if there is something it deploys it. So it will simply disappear, then you know it is installed. If it fails, now it's installed. If it would fail, you have in the Lucy server, you have the context folder and there you have a logs folder. And in the logs folder, you have the deploy log. In that log, you have all the uh, all everything that happens. You see here that it was MySQL, 
MySQL install, that's just infos, update, JDBC driver, blah, blah, blah. So you see there is, everything was fine. So now we have installed the extension the manual way. When we go back to the, to the admin, and you we will see that now okay it's again update me because we have now installed an older version so these are these three ways or two ways to install extensions you can do it in the admin or in the file system by copying to the deploy folder i hope this video was helpful to you have a good one